Sometimes you listen to lyrics of songs and you think, I have absolutely no idea what that was about. But it's a great tune anyway. I'm talking about lyrics, songs, songwriting and performing. Joining us now here in the studio. And I'm delighted to have uh, Tyson Coleman here as my guest. And Tyson, you were telling me that Logan 101 have actually been kind of supporting you for a long time. They have. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, listeners. I've been with Logan 101 since about 2000, maybe even earlier. So at least 20 years now we've been together and then you've been supporting me and playing my music at this station so i, mean, very, I didn't very realize that you were a child bride because obviously you must have been about 10 if they've been no, doing it for 20 no. years looks can be deceiving <laughs> i'm old uh as i say i won't tell well i did tell you what the the, the nice lady in reception said uh, tyson now it's interesting listening to your material we're going to play a couple of tracks i'm um, shortly when people think about country music they go back and they think about line dancing and uh, it's kind of an old-fashioned country in western what you're doing very contemporary very modern it's kind of would uh, it's fair to say a new twist on country music um yeah that'd be about right mike because i'm i'm more on the contemporary side i'm c country rock more than traditional country so i'm not a bush balladeer i don't do some of the more traditional australian country music i'm, I'm very modern with with my approach and it's, it's great, it's very high energy. I mean, I've listened to the album, thanks for sending us that, and we're going to play a couple of tracks this morning. Um, so tell us about the writing process, first of all. Is it all your own work, or do you have people that you collaborate with? No, it's all, it's all my own work. The, the current album from now on, it's 13 original tracks, and I've, I've written, arranged, and performed all of them. Which is, is great. So I'm guessing amongst that and a full-time job, it's kind of time-consuming. It is very time-consuming. I'm a very, very busy man at the moment with Tamworth coming up next week. So I'm in rehearsals and charting and writing and getting ready for Tamworth next week. And that, that's for people that don't know, that is a huge festival, isn't That's it? the biggest country music festival in Australia. So it goes for almost two weeks and I'll be down there for 10 days. Which is fantastic. And you performing every one of those 10 days? Uh, just about, yes. I'm, I'm doing some rhythm and harmonies with Tracy Davis and Michelle Walker. I'm doing the Crosscut Showcases. And then I've got my own show on the 20th with the Tyson Coleman Band. Which is, uh, I would imagine, that that's a real buzz. Now, you've done some stuff locally recently as well, haven't you? You've done some local gigs. Yes, I've been working down at Harrigan's at Jacob's Well with the band. And we're back there on Australia Day, the 26th. So that'll be great. That, that, Come so along if, you're, if you want to see some country rock. I don't, well, it's Cian here, because, uh, like I said, we're going to play a track shortly. Um, very often, uh, people watch TV, they watch the modern reality shows, things like The X Factor and Australia's Got Talent and whatever. You must sit there thinking, wow, I've got so much more talent. I've got so much more going than these guys. Um, what do you have to do to, to make the next step to get forward and, and the next step on the musical ladder, as it were? Well, firstly, I, I, I don't think I'm any better than anyone else. So I, I, I watch the shows with an interest. I like to see some of the performers that are on there. It's a, a different approach to me. Mine's a, a long-term musical pro approach. Mine's a career. It's not instant fame. It's been over 20 years. I've been a performer and a songwriter now, and there'll probably be another 20 years before I get anywhere. So. And, and obviously, for anybody in, in your type of music, Nashville is the big dream. How, how close are we to getting at least some kind of performance there? Well, I'm getting some airplay worldwide and through Nashville at the moment on, on quite a few radio stations. So I'm a little closer than I was, and I'm planning to be in Nashville by the end of the year and to do some recording and performing. Which in itself would just be fantastic. It will be imagine. fantastic. It yeah. be, be a great opportunity. So I'm working towards that now. Okay, what we're going to do is, first of all, is let people that maybe haven't heard your music, let them hear one of your tracks. And um, you chose two particular tracks for us. The first one we're uh, going to do for you is called Please Come Home. Why this one? I thought I'd get something pretty for the for the listeners to listen to. So this is one of the prettier songs on the track. Not as rocky as some of the others. Okay, so it's a pretty song. And uh, by the way, if you've got any questions that you might want to ask Tyson while he's here, you can always give us a ring on 3808 1101 or you can post questions for Tyson on the Facebook page. But uh, anyway, here's uh, a track from the album and it's called Please Come Home. <laughs> He 
could go back far in time And fix those things I did when you were mine No, I've made you think that I've moved on So why can't I admit this feels so Tyson Coleman, who is our studio guest here on Logan City's 101 this morning. Uh, that was a track called Please Come Home. Um, we were just chatting about the production standards on that. that it's really, it's first class. I'm, I'm very, very lucky and fortunate. It was done at Crosscut Records down on the Gold Coast with Mr. Lindsay Waddington, and he's a fantastic producer. So I'm, I'm thrilled with the quality of the album. So your own influences musically, just take us back maybe 20 years ago. Who were you listening to when you thought, oh, I really want to get into this? I started off listening to, to Slim Dusty on the traditional Australian side, so I love Slim's music. But I was also listening to Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly, some of the rock and roll guys. So I started to lean more towards the rock and roll with a country influence, and it's grown from there. Now I listen to, to Keith Urban, who's a huge influence on my music. I like the, the driving guitars and the fast, upbeat songs. So. And it's got a real... I mean, you mentioned the word rock. It's got a real rock bass. I mean, as a drummer, I appreciate all of that, and it's, it's a solid sound. And when you listen back to the old Elvis stuff, when it, it was the cross between the gospel music and, of course, there was country influences with Elvis as well. Exactly the same, and it, it evolved on what they were listening to. So my music's evolved over the years from the, the influences I've had, and hopefully it can continues to grow and, and becomes better as I improve. It's a hugely cutthroat industry, as you know yourself. It's very hard to get into, and not only that, it's hard to maintain any kind of standard. What would your advice be if maybe a younger person is listening, thinking, do you know what, I want to do this for a living. How would you advise them? Where should they start? What should they do? Get out and practice and play. It's not about instant fame. I would, I would avoid the TV shows. I'd avoid the competitions. Just get out there and start playing. Practice your instrument. Practice your voice. Practice your songwriting and work hard. It's a long-term thing if you want to be a musician. It's not a quick fix. It's not instant fame. It's spending a lot of time sitting by yourself practicing songs that half the time no one hears. So you work at it, you work hard, and the results will come. And also, uh, I mean, I guess it's, it's in any industry, it's having a thick skin. It's being able to take rejection. It's being able to take that. In the old days, it would be a letter that says, thank you, but we've already filled the position. Nowadays, it's an email of that. It's about just pick yourself up and keep on going. Absolutely. You? If you don't develop a thick skin, you, you won't keep doing this. I've got a pile of rejection letters as tall <laughs> as myself. <laughs> yeah, me too, funny enough, from most of the radio stations around the world. And well, they lost, Mike. They lost <laughs> completely. This is why Tyson Coleman is one of my favourite performers in Australia. So we've got this, uh, this fantastic festival coming up. I'm, I'm, I have to ask you this, as a performer, and I'm guessing that I know the answer already, before you go on stage, so you've got about 30 seconds to go, the band's lined up, you're just about to have your name, how nervous are you? I've got a lot of experience on stage, so I'm, I'm not too bad. I'm always hoping I can remember the first line to my song. Yeah. I'm walking out there going, please don't let me forget the words. Please That's got to be the biggest the fear, That's hasn't it? That's the only fear. And, and, and I'm guessing, unlike when you're on TV, I suppose you've got autocue and whatever, there's no chance. It's just you and your band um, on your own. Um, people talk about life on the road. It's not as glamorous as people might think either. Oh, God, no, it's not glamorous at all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, gone in the days. You, you watch all these movies, you think, wow, look at these fantastic tour buses they've got. I'm guessing perhaps accommodation, not quite to the... No, uh, to not that quite. Standard, it's though. hanging out with friends, it's cheap accommodation, it's loading up your car with as much gear as you can fit in it and driving for hours and hours at a time yeah. to get to the venue and then driving back. 
But as I say, ultimately, you've got this aim, got the dream in Nashville it is, and, and just the thought that you're going to be there this year. Have you been, have you actually been to Nashville I've never before? been to the States no. before, so it'll be my first time. And that, that'll be an experience. Grand Old Opry is, uh, is, is I would one love of the, to play the, the Opry. Love to play the Grand Old Opry. Yeah. Well, I wish you every success in that. We're going to play another one of your tracks before we let you go. And uh, this one's called uh, Gonna Get Me a Cowgirl. What, what's the sort of um, backstory to this? No real backstory. This is this is about having fun. It's about describing how wonderful cowgirls are and and just how much fun they are to be around. So this this is a fun up tempo song. Okay, and that we we love fun up tempo songs here on Logan 101. Tyson, it's been an absolute pleasure. If anybody deserves success, it's you because you're very unassuming. I don't think you actually realise quite how good you are musically. Right, thank you. So, so my that. my gift to you is start believing because uh, honestly, with that talent, I, I think. I would like to be the one that said, you know what, I told him he was going to go to Nashville one day and he didn't believe me. But uh, anyway, all the best and thanks for coming in. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, listeners. Have a great day. I've been dreaming about blue jeans And a tight fitting kind of high boots They're always on my mind with black crop t-shirts And a warm country smile And a Cobra swung low I know which way I'll go On a hard-working, hard-loving girl In a hard-drinking, hard-playing world I don't need no city kind To make up my mind I'm gonna find Gonna get me a cowgirl I want a girl who can ride Gonna get me a cowgirl Who'll stand at my side who is pure straight to Gonna find me a girl like you ooh, ooh, ooh. I've been working in the city Near six nights a week Trying to earn a little money Just to get back on my feet I'm tired of makeup, makeup. High heels and bleach blonde hair No city girls too damn hard with that fresh southern charm Want to go like Reba Who don't mind working on Paul Want to go like Bonnie Who can play and sing the blues What's a country boy do do On a hard working, hard loving girl In a hard drinking, hard playing world I don't need no city kind I made up my mind I'm gonna find Get me a cowgirl Saturday night social dances, well, they're back at the Mount Gravatt Bowls Club.